when grandpa dies, all those stories, he says, ah, nobody wants to hear my stories anymore. We do. We want to hear them, and we're going to put them on tape, and they'll live forever. That's essentially the plan for a new program beginning in Anstead, spearheaded by Darlene Falbo. It's called Sit a Spell, and it intends to capture the historical knowledge and know-how before time does what time does. Sit a Spell was modeled after a successful program that began in Georgia. There's a program that started about 40 years ago there called Poxfire. Uh, if you look it up online, it has grown into an international phenomenon. It started out as a high school student project. They were going to go out into the neighborhood and interview elderly people and just see what they could find that was interesting. They've ended up writing over 40 books, doing documentaries. I think they even did a movie. This event is free and open to the public and takes place on the third Tuesday of every month at 6 p.m. at either the Anstead Public Library or Community Center and they held their first event last week. The first one was September the 17th. Mr. Bob Wells was the speaker. He was so well prepared. I was just amazed. The crowd was fascinated from beginning to end. I think we all learned some new things. We lived here, most of us, our whole lives and still learn new things. When it comes to the documenting of these informative events, Darlene needed to find some help. I went looking for anyone that would be willing to come video these things on an ongoing basis. And just luckily, because I'm very stubborn and I kept digging, found out there was actually a class at the local Institute of Technology through Oak Hill High School. Darlene formed a partnership with the Fayette Institute of Technology's multimedia publishing class taught by Keith Doherty. And so we do graphic design, website design, and photography and videography. And so we thought this was a really cool opportunity that will kind of include all four of those aspects. So it will be juniors and seniors taking the class who will be responsible for the technical roles related to the event. I'm not really sure about my future plans yet, but I definitely like multimedia and I think it can take me into many different job opportunities, so I'm excited for it. The next three installments of Citispell are already booked. Our speaker for October 15th will tentatively be Mr. Dan Hill. He and his family ran the Glen Ferris Inn for 40 some years. Then in November and December, we have Karen Varouche, who is a retired professor from Concord College, specialized in West Virginia history. To stay up to date with this program, you can currently find information on the Anstead Public Library's Facebook page. We're serious about bringing something into the area that will be interesting and fun and family friendly, and we'll see where it goes. Reporting from Anstead, this is Mike Teeny, Newswatch 4.